What is going on guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do simple encryption in Python using the advanced encryption standard short AES. And for that, we're going to need to install a package called PyCryptoDome. At least I think that's how it's pronounced. So it's called Py crypto dome it doesn't have to do anything with cryptocurrencies it's only about encryption and for that we're going to open up a command line on windows cmd on linux and mac the terminal and we're going to type pip install pi crypto dome like that so once you have that you're going to be able to import a couple of packages that are not named pi crypto dome they're named crypto dot and so on and we're going to need first of all from crypto dot random we're going to import get random bytes, we're going to import from crypto dot protocol dot KDF. We're going to import P B KDF two. I have talked about this already in my uh, command line encryption tutorial that uh, you can find on my channel. Again, I'm not going to talk about all the details, you can go to Wikipedia and Google what this does. Basically, it's brute force protection, uh, or it makes it harder to brute force. Um, then we're going to say from crypto dot cipher, we're going to import AES, so the advanced encryption standard. And we're going to say from crypto dot util dot padding, we're going to need to import pat and unpat, respectively. Um, without a D here on pad. All right, so the first thing we want to do is we want to generate a key. This key is going to be used for the encryption and for the decryption. So we're going to have a symmetric encryption here. Um, essentially, if you want to generate just a basic key, what you say is you say simple key under uh, simple underscore key equals and then get random bytes and we can generate 32 random bytes. That's essentially it. We can print that key now this simple key, and we can see that this works. And we're going to get some random uh, bytes here. Now, we're not going to do it like that, because we're going to use a salt. But what we can do is we can use what we got here as a salt as a static salt. So we can copy that from the terminal. And we can say, okay, the salt for our encryption is going to be that. So basically like this, the salt is going to be this gener uh, generated random uh, byte stream here byte string. Um, and this salt is going to be used for the encryption for the actual key generation. And for the key generation, we also need a password, we're going to say the password is going to be, uh, I don't know, my password, or something like that. And then we can go ahead and generate the actual encryption key. So we're going to say key equals pbkdf2. And we're going to pass here the password, the salt, and the length is going to be 32. Um, and this is going to basically generate uh, the key. So we can print this actually the result of that to see what this looks like. And then we're going to use this key in a cipher. So this is the result here of the generated key, we're going to use this key now in a cipher in order to encrypt a message. So we're going to say the cipher is going to be AES dot new, we're going to base it on the key. And we're going to use a block cipher. So we're going to say uh, AES dot mode underscore CBC, like that. And then we're going to cipher the data. So we're going to say ciphered underscore data equals and first of all, we need a message. So we're going to say message is going to be Hello, secret world like that. And the cipher data is now going to be cipher dot encrypt. And we're going to pass here um, with padding, we're going to pass the message. Now let's turn this into bytes here so that we don't have any problems. So we're going to uh, pass the message here. And we're going to pass the block size. So AES dot block size. Like that. So this is basically how we encrypt this, we can now also print this ciphered data, we're actually done with the encryption. That's how simple it is in Python. Um, now is this now the cipher data? Yeah, this is the cipher data, uh, we can now export this into a binary file. So we can say with open encrypted dot bin for binary, 
um, writing bytes mode SF, we're going to say F dot write. And now what we need to write first is uh, we need to write cipher dot IV. And then we need to actually write the cipher data afterwards. So when we do that, we're going to see that essentially, this is going to create this binary file here that we cannot really read. Um, and we can now also open that and decrypt this. How do we do that? We say with open encrypted bin as reading bytes. Of course, we can also just take what we already have, but we're going to open it from a file here. We're going to say IV is going to be F read the first 16 bytes. And then we're going to say the decrypted data uh, is going to be F read, or actually this is not the decrypted data, but the data to be decrypted. So let's call it decrypt data. Um, and then we're going to say cipher new AES or cipher is, is equal to AES dot new. We're going to pass the key again, the same mode again. The IV is going to be the IV. And then we're going to say the original is going to be unpad cipher dot decrypt the decrypt data. And we're going to pass the AES dot block size. And then we can print the original text. And as you can see, we get the proper result from the binary file. Now, what we can also do is we can export the key and use it for decryption in another file. So we can say with open key bin in writing bytes mode is f f dot write the key like that. And then we can open up a separate file. And we can call it main two dot py. For example, we can use the same import. So I can just copy this here. And then we can say with open key dot bin reading bytes sf and we can say key equals f dot read like that and then we can also load the encrypted message so encrypted bin in reading bytes sf iv equals f read 16 again and then decrypt data is going to be f dot read the rest. We can then again just say cipher equals AES new with a key with the mode of the CBC block cipher um, IV being equal to IV. And the original is again unpad um, the cipher dot decrypt the decrypt data and AES dot block size. And then we can print that. Uh, what's the problem here? Oh, there you go. So this should also work now, even though we don't have uh, any of the key generation in here. Uh, doesn't have the key bin. Oh, I didn't run this. So we need to run this first. And then we run the second script. There you go, it also works. So we can use this key symmetrically, as you can see for encryption and decryption. Once you have the key, you can, uh, you can you can decrypt, but we can also generate the same thing using the same salt and password. So I can also say main three dot py and I can generate the same key now. So uh, if I have, for example, let's just go with the same imports here. If I use the same um, salt and password, I can also generate the same key. And this is going to allow me to, um, to decrypt that. So I can say with open again, encrypted bin and reading bytes. IV equals F. Oh, I forgot the F. 16. Decrypt message. 
equals f read. And then basically the same thing that we did before. So we can copy this as well. Um, so essentially here we don't have um, decrypt. Oh, we don't have the key file itself. We generate it with the exact same salt with the exact same password. And uh, we open up a file that was encrypted in another script, but it still works. So you can see same salt, same password result in same key. And this key is even to, uh, able to decrypt uh, the binary encrypted file. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.